What's up, everybody? My name is Gambit, and today we have a very exciting episode. Finally, the sneak peeks have happened. Yes, today we're coming at you with the first sneak peek. It, they did announce that this was the first sneak peek, so I'm not lying to you there. There will be more tomorrow. Get hype. Anyway, let's talk about the sneak peek we have today. Balancing changes. So we're going to get into the few of them that I don't think are going to change the game too much. Um, or at least not as much as the, the last couple that they, uh, they, they go over. So let's start out with the Giant. Right now the Giant is so... So, like, in everywhere, it's like the new Royal Giant is the Giant. Like, I mean, it's it's so much better than the Royal Giant, in my opinion. And this is why it does, like, two, two to 300 damage a hit, depending on what level it is. For me, personally, it's like 280-something. It's crazy. And then it, it also takes forever to kill if you don't have, like, an Inferno Tower. I mean, if you have a cannon, that, that's one thing. Um, that'll at least distract it for quite a while. But... You know, you really need the Inferno Tower if you want to kill that giant quick and fast. Um, but now the damage be decreased. This was exactly what we needed for the giant. It was exactly what I was thinking. It shouldn't be. It should either be a tank or a puncher. And they decided it was a tank. So I'm glad they did change that. So let's move right on into the Rage Spell. Now, the Rage Spell is very already a very unuseful card. Um, I would like. I would like to see a little bit of changes done to it. But they decrease the cost from three to two, which is a it's a it's a nice buff, you know what I mean? Like I they did that to the buller and it worked out pretty well. So maybe maybe they want to do that for the rage spell as well. Um, they also changed the how much damage like it increases your troops by from forty to thirty percent, and the duration is two seconds instead of like five or six. So that's a big one. Um, to me, like that was, it, I mean, making it cheaper is nice. It'll help you cycle faster, um, as well as, you know, boost up your troops, obviously, but it only lasting like four to five seconds now. It might not be that good. But let's just move right on to the Lumberjack. Super, super powerful right now in Arena 8 and Lower Arena 9. I myself am in a Lower Arena 9. Um, been trying like i haven't really been pushing i'm waiting but anyway let's get back to the lumberjack the lumberjack um they did a lot of things to it just to change its rage spell because it can't be better than the actual rage spell so they just decreased its you know damage output from 40 to 30 percent and decreased its duration by two seconds exactly like the rage spell so they didn't like nerf his damage or anything like that so it's still a mini packet running at your tower you better stop it all right, next up is the Bomber, and this one is just thrown in there. I'm not sure why. I would like to see the Poison Spell instead of the Bomber if I had to pick because the Poison Spell is just ridiculous right now. It can hit a cannon in the middle of the map and the tower. Why haven't they changed that? Um, but a small tweak to fix complete, um, I don't know. I'm not sure about this one. This one just is a little silly to me. I don't, like, it's decreased its, um, Hit points by 2% and it's damage by 2% and increase that. So, like, it's already a skeleton, so it has, like, no health either way. So now they're going to take even more away from it. Like, a bomber almost dies to my arrows now. It almost dies to my zap. Uh, could, like, could you just zap down a bomber now? Like, that doesn't seem very fair. But let's stop talking about these minor changes. I know, right, some of these were pretty big, and, and they're only the minor changes in this update. So let's go ahead and get these off the screen. Um, you can pause the video if you want to read them further in debt or go to ClashRoyale.com for all of these. But first up is the Lightning Spell. And basically, this Lightning Spell is getting a huge, huge buff in my opinion. I think the Lightning Spell is about to be in everybody's deck um, with the Giant, honestly, because I don't think the Giant's going anywhere. Um, the lightning stuns for 0.5 seconds. And the reasoning they give is because the zap does it, and it's a lightning spell. Or, well, it's like it shoots one bolt of lightning. So they wanted to be able to do that in the lightning spell to kind of bring a more unique aspect to it than just like a, a rocket that doesn't do as much. Um, so basically, it will stun everything. So I would, the way I'm seeing it is you have a giant rolling down the tower. Sorry about that. Um... Now, all of a sudden, there's an Inferno Tower. Now, you can choose the Lightning it, 
It will A, stun it. I think it will almost take it out and do damage to the tower and possibly any other troop they have sitting there. Which is crazy to me. Like, I don't even know. Like, I think that's going to be really strong. Now, obviously, you're still going to need something like a arrows or something to deal with smaller troops because that's definitely not taking the place of that. Uh, but let's move on to the log, which is getting a massive buff. A huge buff. Uh, we all, there was rumors of this happening. Um, it was it was pretty crazy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. When I heard about the rumors in them themselves, but basically it pushes back every single ground troop, golems, giant, royal giant, pekkas, big pekkas, princes, any ground troop you could think of. This bad this bad boy log pushes back now I wish I would have bought the log when it was in my shop a few days ago kind of regretting it now um, I really think the logs about to, to get uh, get put in some decks the way I'm seeing it from these these uh, updates the logs gonna take the place of like the zap just to get rid of meal troops and push back Giants um, <laughs> that's crazy that's super overpowered um, and I think the lightning spell will kind of take the place of the damage dealer and the stun um, that's the way I'm seeing it but those log Crazy update. I wish I had it so I could play with it. Um, when is when do they say they come out? Like September nineteenth. Is that it? So there very well be only be two more sneak peeks. We might get cards in a new arena this weekend, and then the updates out like Monday or Tuesday, which is gonna be amazing, guys. I cannot wait to cover that for you guys. It's gonna be a whole lot of fun. So let's move on to the last one and the most overpowered one that everybody's freaking out about right now: the mirror spell. Um, it now at max level. This is a little bit weird wording. I haven't completely understand it. You guys can read it right here if you want. I'll leave it up on screen. Um, but what I've taken from it is it will upgrade your card one level no matter what card it is if it's if it the light if the mirror spell is maxed. So what that means? Level 6 princesses, level 12 giants and level like 14 goblins coming at your tower not to mention now you can like mirror hog riders and get a level 11 and a level 12 how are you supposed to deal with a card in the game that that's not even in the game like there's no other way to get a level 12 hog or 12 any kind of rare that's level 12 any kind of level 14 um common because they, they cap at 13 no level 5 no, no level 6 legendaries, which is just crazy to get a level 6 legendary. Like, so they've come up with a whole new troop levels for everything. And the only way you can access it is with a max mirror, which is absolutely insane, guys. Like, I cannot get over this. This is such a... My mind is blown. This is such a huge buff. I cannot wait to play with the mirror spell. Mine's only level 2 feel kind of bad i gotta get that up i can easily get it up but guys that's gonna do it for the sneak peeks i do have a little shout out for myself because yesterday right after i ended the stream i hit level 10 as you guys can see up there super hyped about that level 10 that means i will be pushing higher and higher and higher and higher up in the world i did kind of stop at legendary arena I, pro I could probably push up even higher but i'm waiting for something in my shop minor princess now i guess i'll get the log if it appears again um, one can only hope now that it's super overpowered. We'll see but as you can see here as far as the other cards go that are getting buffed I don't use too much like the lightning spell right there. I have 15 of them Same with the rage spell because it's just not cards you use. I have 19 Mirror cards. I think that gets enough to get it up to level 4 We will see and soon find out hopefully, but thank you so much for watching guys Make sure you subscribe if you are new. It does mean a lot. I'll see you guys in the next one Peace out.